Hello everyone, welcome back to Bear, I'm Stephanie. Today's video will be my July empties. First up are my vitamins. They are always in my empties. These are part of your beauty routine or you should consider vitamins as part of your beauty routine. I have my omega-3 vitamins, my fish oil, my vitamin D, and then I have my vitamin A. So this is called Drea's Tea Olive Lime Body Lotion. This tea olive lime it smells just like you're in some it reminds me of being in like a spa like over in um, Santa Barbara just that clean fresh smell I have the Aveeno daily moisturizing body wash I'm just getting through all my body washes in the house I have like a couple more bottles left over and then I'm done it's pretty good going through my stash I can't believe I finished up a hairspray because it's so rare for me to finish up a hair care product but this is from L'Oreal it's their L net this one is like one of my favorite ones it has a very fine mist and for my type of hair because my hair is fine textured when I put if I put any hairspray in my hair it's not going to produce that crunchy feeling that my hair are hard I don't like any of of that with my with my hair now this product from sexy hair it's the style sexy hair 450 blowout seven in one I did not like this there could feel it weighing down my hair I would spray some before I flat iron and I think flat iron my hair it, it started to look like I poured grease on my hair so definitely will not be repurchasing this now this product is a Japanese product and actually you're supposed to use it on your face but I use it on my body whenever it's on sale over at my Japanese grocery store I do pick it up it's the aqua moist and it's the vitamin C whitening milk whitening terminology in the Asian culture is to brighten your skin but it also helps fade any type of discolorations that you might have on your face um, if you have darker skin you might get some um, you know dark marks on your skin or you have some sort of discoloration and like you know I have some scarring left over from an injury and this works really well at just um, fading it and making your skin back to be one color for makeup I only went through two items this is from makeup forever it's their smoky extravagant mascara do not like this at all the larger side of the brush would just always create the mascara to go all over my lid and I'm not even going really fast it's just it just doesn't work for me plus it clumps and it also produces too much mascara on the end of the brush so I think you're just using up a lot more product than you need to I didn't see any real difference in my lashes I didn't see them getting really long or full or lush which you would think would occur with a brush that big but just not happy with it. I will need to say goodbye to this brush. I'm going to miss it, but this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This comes in my Brow Express kit from Anastasia. I mean, I literally use this practically every single day. I probably have had this brush for like maybe five years, if not longer, and it's just now starting to separate with the bristles so it's starting to go every which way if you're looking for brushes for your brows or for your eyes that just really do the job and the brushes last a long time Anastasia's I, I gotta admit her brushes are just not just fabulous closing out with skincare I do have my cotton pads these are my cotton facial pads that I pick up over at Daiso which is my Japanese dollar store just going through those These are Korean cleansing wipes for your face I actually don't like this brand this is from the brand Apelli I believe you pronounce it Apelli so um, just going through those but I won't be repurchasing these I finished up the bottle of Laneige's Balancing Emulsion. I was using this and my son was using this too as his morning moisturizer. It comes out just the right amount of, of product that you need just to you know have some moisture on your face. It's a great brand, works well on the skin, no irritation, so I really do recommend that. This is the L'Oreal 360 Clean, Ideal Clean Anti-Breakout Facial Treatment. This is the Acne Wash. It is my favorite acne wash facial cleanser. Really cleans out your pores and does a great job if you have acne prone skin. 
This is the Marad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. So if you are looking to attack some dark marks on your face, hyperpigmentation, especially if they are old, you know, you're using up a lot of products and they just don't seem to be fading, use this. Just apply it directly, apply the serum directly on the dark mark or the area and you'll start to see it start to eat away at it. Well, you're not going to see it eat away, but you'll start to see improvement and it will start to fade in as little as two weeks. I really do like this. This is Maria Badescu's Peptide Renewal Serum. It has like a little like dropper spout and I just put three drops into my hands and it's the regular serum texture applied all over my face. A peptide serum is great if you are looking for like an anti-aging serum to use in your skincare regimen but also provide hydration and moisture back into your skin at the same time so that's why i was testing that to see how i like that and i do like it it's a great serum and then two other samples here i am just blowing through my sample bags this is the warm love pumpkin exfoliating mask this is supposed to be like an exfoliating scrub the grains that are inside this mask are so tiny when you're kind of rubbing them on your skin i don't feel anything and then this this is the Truffle Therapy Serum. This is by Skin & Co. I got this in my glossy box and this I actually really did like. Like I could see myself using this as a full size bottle. My face felt really good. I remember when I was putting it on it had like almost like a tightening feeling to the skin. So I really did like that. And then last I have is my Retin-A. This is my prescription. It's just a product that just does it all. It attacks everything, aging, wrinkles, clears up your skin if you have acne, uh, helps fade marks. And I recommend if you can get a prescription from your dermatologist to go that route. But you know, sometimes it's different with everybody's skin. Some skins can take a prescription, some can't. And that is it. Those are all my empties for the month of July. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.